You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. Tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? <laughs> I didn't think so. You're new around here, aren't you? Welcome and keep your wits about you. You're nothing but tits and arse to the men in this place, and they won't hesitate to grab at both. Thanks for the advice. Anytime. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. I'm always ready to help. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. What makes you think I'm right for this? You saw me talking to Lucky, didn't you? Those boys couldn't manage simple information gathering. I can't trust the riffraff in this place to do anything right. But you, you're different. Who's this person you've arranged to meet? His name is Hader. We worked together back in Antiva. He's never liked me. He's been asking about me all around Kirkwall. Thought I'd get it over with and meet him face to face. You wanted information from Lucky? What was it? I asked Lucky and his boys to track down something I lost. They failed to do it. It's nothing to worry about, and this is much more important. Why a duel? <laughs> I like jewels. It's what I do. And if I win, he'll be dead. Problem solved. I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. So, I've been dying to know. What was going through your head when you fought that ogre? I knew that whatever happened, I had to get the others to safety. But lots of people talk about nobility and selflessness, generally in the same stories that have magic beans. Somehow, Hawk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake anything in particular I should know about your brother to understand Bartrand you've got to understand the Dwarven Merchants Guild these are dwarves who would sell their mothers if they thought it'd get them a better share of the Lyrium market anyone who deals with them has to sleep with a knife under their pillow in my family that's Bartrand what are your plans for this trip into the deep roads Bartrand's running the show. On Draste's ass, he'd probably do that even if we weren't paying for everything. The tide we're looking for is supposed to be a week's travel from the surface. So I hope you aren't scared of the dark. We've got supplies, muscle, excavators. The plan is to carry out everything that's not nailed down. If we'll be working together, I should find out more about you. 
You're in luck. I'm always willing to talk about myself to beautiful women. My family came from Orzammar, Noble House Tethrys, until my father got caught fixing provings. He and our whole house got exiled. No huge loss. I was born up here. Sunshine suits me just fine. Are you a merchant? A mercenary? I'm a younger son. It's a difficult and dangerous profession. A lot of us die of boredom. Fortunately, being Bartran's younger brother keeps me on my toes. Maker knows he lacks subtlety. I'm the one who pulls strings to keep the coterie out of our hair. Keep us just a whisker ahead of the other families. A lot of things can keep you awake, you know. I wouldn't reach for the doom first. Sure. I could have a cup of tea in the morning, but I hear it's bad for you. I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the deep roads. So, this will be... let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Great! Now we're adventurous. What? Just wondering if the feathered pauldrons are an essential part of the moody rebel mage persona. What are you talking about? I'm working on an epic poem about a hopelessly romantic apostate, waging an epic struggle against forces he can't possibly defeat. What do you mean, can't possibly defeat? Well, it's not a good story unless the hero dies. Don't bother me.
just like that. And I'll be at the Hanged Man with some toys as reward. Courtesy of some interested friends. Well, how about that? Hey, you got any dust? Dwarf dust. I'm hurting here. There you are. I've been here for hours. Ada hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this? <laughs> That's right up there with what could possibly go wrong. That's the wench we're looking for. Gut her. sent them. Search the bodies. I need to find out where he is. Hiding in the Chantry and sending thugs to finish me off? Coward. He'll not get away with this. Come on.
Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Will someone explain what's going on? Isabella's been a very bad girl. Ruined a perfect business deal, and then ran away. She didn't tell you? I told her enough. I said I arranged for a duel, which I did. I also said you wouldn't play fair, which you didn't. We can talk later if you want. Right now, we have other problems. Cassian isn't a very happy person, is he? Maybe he needs a new hobby. There's only one way to settle this.
I was trying to talk him down. Trust me, it's better this way. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. It's simple as that. Who is Castillon? He's a powerful merchant based in Antiva. I believe he has ties to the Felicissima Armada. I used to work for him. The jobs mostly involved smuggling lyrium, jewels, or the occasional criminal acquaintance. He paid well. What's so interesting about the relic? I don't really know what it is, except that it's ancient and worth my weight in gold. Castion has me chasing it down as payback for freeing his slaves. <sighs> to be honest, I think he just wants me dead. But that would be letting me off easy. You hired Lucky to track down information on the relic. That's right. He insisted he knew everything that was going on in Kirkwall. He lied. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even know everything going on in his pants. Did you end up in Kirkwall because your ship was destroyed? There was a storm. The ship ran aground on the reefs near the city. I managed to make it to shore. Most of my men weren't as lucky. Poor sods. I knew some of those men almost ten years. Ah, oh, balls. What's this about you freeing slaves? I was asked to escort Castillon's cargo ship. I got a bad feeling about the job partway through boarded the ship to find slaves. Nearly 200. Elves, humans, children even. It was sickening. They paid Castillon to take them away from the Blight. He took their money and sold them into slavery. Even I know that's wrong. Didn't expect that, did you, Guardsman? If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later.